All it's right. alive. Alive! Yeah, that Monokuma right there, he's bouncing <laughs> up and down. I've never fed him. So I'm in free time right now, right? Yeah. We. Okay, so we need to finish up Gonta. I have one more bunny apple. I don't remember what else he likes. Don't worry, I'm pulling it up right now. Thank you. But in the meantime, we can get this out of the way. And I start dropping frames immediately. Is it because I have Discord up? Is that why? I've noticed that's been happening when I have Discord up when I stream. Hmm. Or maybe it's because I'm in a voice chat. That's so weird. Whatever. The internet doesn't like us. It doesn't. I even restarted my router, too. Oh, oh wait, what? Oh, oh no. Member of student council. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, no, here's the thing is I was looking this up last time. Um, there are certain days that you're not allowed to talk to Gonta. Great, all right. Um, I think I said I was going to do Maki next, and I don't think she's a part of the student council, so we'll go for her. I just need to figure out what she likes. Yeah. Thing. As soon as my computer decides that it wants to actually work for me. She probably likes... Pan grips. She likes knives. I'm just kidding. I haven't even looked yet. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's something she likes. She has to practice her character. Oh, so I think we might have just lost somebody. I think we just lost Baron. I think Baron just got disconnected. Probably. Maybe the thunderstorm got to him. Maybe all those. Was he the one voicing Monkey? Yes. Okay, I'll take the voice on. I'll take the voice. Yeah. All the plot stuff, I don't need that. Okay, so... Taking a look at what I have... A sword? Or a uh, gun? She'd like that, right? Uh, why is this working for me? It's not probably the same list that I had last time. <laughs> Wait, you're just getting Gontas again? No, I'm looking for Mackies, but I'm lo looking for the same list that it gave me for Gonta, but it's not popping up. Huh. Here, I'll I'll try getting it up. Yeah. Here, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Best gifts. Let's see. It's telling me the events. What does she like? <laughs> she loves Space Egg Home Planet Key of Love. What? That is okay. bizarre. Yeah. Here, here, here. What the fuck? Uh, locations, loves. Okay. I have two home planets, so I mean, that'll work. She, yeah, she only likes she only loves three things, but she likes a whole bunch. So she likes space eggs, home planet, and key of love. Okay, I have and I have two of them, so I think we're good for now. Okay. There's no way you can resurrect That's the true. dead. <laughs> Red Tara definitely died. Kaede and Karumi died right before our very eyes. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? So what? <sighs> Fine. I don't feel like doing anything in particular, so I'll let you decide. <laughs> I spent some time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. I don't have the egg, but you know what? This will do just fine. You got the planet thing. Why the? Why wouldn't she love the laser gun? <laughs> I don't know. Does she like well, the laser gun? Let me check. Also, I don't. Okay, this seems out of place for Maki. This feel these gifts feel more in character for Kaito, right? Because they're all space related. 
Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> what like the fuck? Oh, hey. Death's here? Hey, Death. Nice. Hey. Thank you. I'll charge this. <laughs> we accidentally lost the Baron to possibly a storm. So he's oh. on his phone right now. What? Wait, so we're like two people down, we're just going ahead? Well, Baron DC'd in the middle of the stream, so it's like, well, shit, what do we do now? I guess we keep going. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Yeah, we, we improvised. <laughs> so yeah, we were him. just starting to pull things up and ever, and we were heading towards, like, Gonta, and then he disappeared, and then we found out we couldn't talk to Gonta Ooh. because he's in the student council today. Yeah. That damn student council. I know. Someone needs to assassinate the president of the student council. If Gonta dies, that's gonna suck. That is gonna suck. And I'm gonna feel the pain I did before when I played <laughs> 2. <laughs> Trying to go for Chiaki and then what? Sucks to be you, bro. I know. Why are you surprised? I, I got something I like, so of course I'm gonna thank you for it. Um, hey. Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? Blunt. I already said that several times. The techniques are really more skeptical than necessary. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. When the assassin nation organizations this band before they became known that is true so what? oh baron's back baron oh, you hey, good hey. what happened i saved baron my arrival saved his errand <laughs> give him give him a minute it, it always takes like 30 seconds for him to say something yeah i'll finish up the line all right though. go ahead if you want to know my job then i don't mind talking about it, it won't be a problem <laughs> Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No, no that's the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cult, except for Angie. <laughs> a cult? Well, I mean, she definitely isn't normal, that's for sure. What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? That's the assassination organization I belong to. Walk in the next narrator's line. All right, so I'll, I'll take. So Shuichi's next line, I'll do in walk in. Huh? You belong in the cult. How's it going, Xena? Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. Fuck it, I'll do the rest of it as walk-in. That sounds made up. Sure, whatever. It's real. The founder is the, is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. On your back. There you are. Very strong. The other <laughs> so other good to have us all here. Finally! The other believers don't matter, they're all there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Ellipsis! I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country! What the fuck? <laughs> well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. <laughs> when you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well, well yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that, that is just the cover for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal and hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff don't actually believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. The tone was neither demanding nor cold. She sounded as if she was... She just accepted that's the way things are. Then, 
the Knight of Zoom. You're a devotee to this cult. That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait. Can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true. I suppose she couldn't be. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We really don't get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So you don't share that kind of information with each other? That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. <laughs> the tone hasn't changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Alright, there you go. I'm done with walking. Thank you, Xena. That was the most fucked up free time event we've <laughs> ever had. <laughs> Still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories. I returned to my room. That was awesome. Thank you. I, I hope I did a decent job. I haven't I haven't done the Christopher Walken impression in a long time. I guess I have to go do Maki again. All right, this time Baron's taking the wheel. Oh wow, so good talking like Christopher Walken. I just saw the movie Seven Psychopaths uh yesterday. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> it was a good movie, but pretty fucked up. I'm really fucked up. Have you maxed out Gonta? No. We can't. We can't no. because he's part of the society. He's like, oh, sorry, Shuichi, but um, you're not religious, so fuck you. Yeah, you uh, disconnected just as uh, we found out that we couldn't talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Is Kaito all right? He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Responsible idiot. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? I was about to go on a walk. You can tag along if you want. You're the favorite uh, Kaido bitching partner I have, Shuichi. You do it so well. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. I spent some time strolling around the courtyard with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. So, get this, Baron. She likes stuff from space. Interesting. Well, yeah. Thank you. I'll cherish this. Why are you surprised? I got something I like, so of course I'm going to thank you for it. Hey! Hey, Maki! I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? I'm curious, what would you have said if you tried to do this before that reveal? Maybe the, um... The other interactions either won't count, or the dialogue would be completely different. I'm yeah, may she that. just keep brushing you off. Or she wouldn't even let you uh, do her events. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I upset her again? Sorry. I'm sorry. Did I ask something wrong? So what? Yeah, she's not, not a... Sorry. <laughs> not really. I just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Ah, uh, is that right? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassinations. That's true. We use those too, but I mostly have knives, also poison, sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Bombs? For an assassination? Okay. Yes, they can be yours, as long as you have enough rubies. Damn, I can't give credit. I better come back when I'm a little, mm, richer. A uh, warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. You can control an explosion to destroy just one floor? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So what? <laughs> it's rare to be that flashy, though. Normally disposing one target is enough. Hey. So what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking about? What do you uh, mean? Well, I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff, so... This will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. 
because I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person is. I suppose that's just the way it is. I see. But I've also had to dispose of people who I knew well. Huh? Huh? Like who? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you have to do that? Well... Hey. A daughter of a Yakuza leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. And Discord was covering up the message. Sorry. I kind of lagged out there, too. Her father loved her so much, which is why she was seen as dangerous. The Yakuza's elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used her. Wait! What? But she didn't do anything wrong! Okay. Yeah, but I did as ordered. Oh god, these are all awful. I suppose you had to. Should I go with that one? <laughs> I mean, that I seems mean... like this. That seems like the most reasonable answer. Like, well, I guess you had to, right? <laughs> I suppose you had to. That's true. Yeah, that's when I realized this would be my life now. I heard them calling it an act of God. I don't believe in that. I also don't intend to blame it on anyone else. Well... You may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the account of other people, but everyone does what they can to live. You, me, and everyone I've murdered. I kill, but I can also be killed. And that's all. Hold it in different Maki had been overwhelmed by words. I've never seen that happen before. I couldn't think of anything to say. I got a hope fragment. <laughs> God damn. Hey. This this well, like, this got fucking dark. Thanks for digging up the past trauma I've experienced, Shuichi. You're you're a real pal. Yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Staggering from the weight of Maki's story, I return to my room. Man, this romance is going so well, guys. I know. Do you do this to everybody? <laughs> Just you listen. All right. There's like a this. reason Shuichi is gay. <laughs> Wait, what? He's had much happier experiences with men so far. This is true. Maybe you're just picking the wrong the wrong one. women. Yeah, you. I doubt it. Women. I doubt it. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen to training. That's true. I should Maybe go see what Kaito picked... has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Maybe if you picked Karakio, it will have went smoother. Yeah. You might be Maybe. right. Maybe it wouldn't have gotten dark. Probably would have gotten really weird. Uh, Kaito's room? Right as I was about to ring that bell, the door to Kaito's room opened, and out came... Whoa, what were they doing? Ah, uh, Maki. Is she mad? Uh, I don't know how you don't That look on his face. <laughs> I gotta apologize to you too. <sighs> he told me he was going to skip today's training too. So, he doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep since yesterday. I think I'll get better if. I just rest a little longer, you know. Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Nah. We have to reschedule all train sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being after being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the train schedule. You don't need to do that. Really? <laughs> I don't want to skip it, so it'll just be the two of us training today. 
Honestly, yeah, Bustus. Huh? <laughs> what? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Huh? Die? Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's, right. uh, that, that's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Seriously, I'm sorry, but can I leave the train to you until I'm feeling better, Sunshine? Of course, Kaito. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Maki, about Kaito. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes, and the entire aura surrounding her, had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Uh, uh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Tenko. I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right. That's right, Maki! I'm not here as the student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal favor. Uh, a my favor? My hips don't widen as easily as... Damn it, I forgot <laughs> her name. Shakira? What? I was trying to think of the witch girl again. Who? <laughs> oh, heavy cow. Uh oh, <laughs> what? That would have been a good joke, but I fell flat. Damn it! A favor Secure, from us. <laughs> You're not from you, you fucking filthy man. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed for once. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent brainwashed at all. I'll believe it when I see it. Like fifty percent, maybe. You're not brainwashed. Does that mean you willingly join the student council? That sounds worse. Hey, Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No. I could never believe in Angie's god. Huh? What? Listen up. I only believe in Aikido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. I can't freaking believe Tenko is improving, in my opinion. <laughs> How? Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. She resisted the influence of a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's oh, brainwashing. Oh my god, I just realized something. <laughs> what? She resisted the influence of a cult because they finally added one single guy to the mix. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kibo didn't count because nobody knows, but they added the going to and she's like, no! <laughs> that perfectly explains all of this. Apparently, the presence of uh, testosterone sobered her up. She's the only one that's allowed to have testosterone in this She was group. also in that so uh, bug meet and greet, too, so she has some PTSD from that. Yeah. She saw a single person with a PS and was like, nope, I'm out. Good luck with your club on your own, bitch. So you just pretended to be brainwashed. Why would you do that? It's because 
You're, wor you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vestal, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? What? Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Well, maybe two things, given it's you, but one of them's out of the question. Uh, what's the other one? <laughs> you you know. <clears throat> I won't deny that. I wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. But going through with going through with it is different is a different thing. I can't say words. This town is oh, wrong shit. for monsters. What? How can you sit there and eat? Yo, do set. Thank you for the raid. How's it going, man? Oh, Welcome geez. raiders. What were you playing? Synth Riders? How's it going? Sorry. You can it's continue right. if you want. No, 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 it's alright. You had to welcome your Raiders, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> it's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Welcome to Danganronpa, where I talk like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out, Moose Bear attack. Well... Not the Moose Bear. Wasn't it slobs? Did I miss something? Do you realize who you're talking to? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. <laughs> so wait, we need to embrace the moose bear or run from it? I'm getting mixed I signals here. Am moose bear. It used to be. Oh, okay. I got you now. I'm sorry. Did you read this line already? Yeah. This, this is the, the resurrection ritual is dangerous. Okay. I said this one. Maki no Tenko so was there dangerous. before Tenko said anything. She can see right through you. Like, she has Batman detective mode vision. Of course she does. <clears throat> If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Only us? Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Miyu, or Kyo. And Kaito is not feeling well, you know? I see. Didn't have many options. How far are you in the game? Chapter three. If you want to play these games for yourself, uh, do not be afraid to leave the stream. We haven't seen anything important happen yet, but it could happen at some point. I don't know when. Only two of these people know. I we are probably going to get to the <laughs> investigation fairly soon, or yeah, at least the play. Play. Like, for it. I feel like okay. it's gonna start. Yeah, maybe like an A or I don't know. My question is how did Angie get Kibo on her side? Maybe she can reprogram him. <laughs> <laughs> she could be a tech wizard, you never know. I, I think he's just a robot that became religious. Because if your mortal soul can't handle the moose bear, you will implode into oblivion and appear in an alternate universe. It's really easy to <laughs> brainwash somebody when you literally can just press the off button. Oh shit, you did play the first and second one? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, uh, uh, don't don't be afraid to leave if you don't want to be spoiled. Like, I don't want to ruin this for you. I appreciate the raid, though, again, man. Thank you. They are good games. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is true. Please. So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'll probably forget everything. Okay, that's... That's on you. 
<laughs> that's that's, that's your call. I feel like this is one that you're not gonna forget anytime soon. <laughs> no. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm begging you! Tenko bowed down as deep as she could. Well, well then, let's go. What? We didn't even answer yet. Oh, I don't fucking need you to quit complaining and do this. Favor for me, you degenerate person. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that to any male. Did her face make a hole in the ground? Yeah, she just flattens like a pancake. Like, she forces herself onto the ground, like slams her face onto the ground, making a dent in the sidewalk, and then comes back off perfectly fine. And she just does like a full like turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. Is it something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No! I'll do it! I was just thinking, is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey! Degenerate male! <laughs> <clears throat> then do something about it already! I thought males were supposed to be decisive! Oh, you saw this one already? Alright! Alright, again, if you say so! <laughs> Don't you know the last time that females were, were decisive, we got kicked out of the Garden of Eden? Wait, what? <laughs> Sneak attack! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now let's go convince Angie to go her. Yeah, you're good, man. You do what you gotta do. She should be preparing for the ritual right now. The ultimate uh, in the ultimate artist lab. Together, I'm going to. Huh. Of course. I wouldn't ask just to you for help. I just agreed to help. And this is how you treat me. Yeah. Oh well. I'll just go to Angie's lab. I wonder if I can come across somebody as I walk there. You think because I need your help, I'm gonna be nice to you? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it works. Whoa! Speaking of someone who's nice to me. Oh, oh hello. Uh, this is an unusual group of people. Tinko's a student council member, so I get why she's here. But Shuichi, Maki, are you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. What? <laughs> I was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours. And then I caught these two roaming around. Yup, I'm just doing my job as a student council member since I'm on the student council. No, that's wrong. You're really bad at this, Suichi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you act that enthusiastic, you come across as suspicious. Uh -huh. You literally just said I'm not. <laughs> Kokichi, go back to your room and sleep, or I'll kick your ass. You're not my mom. She died last case. Oh. <laughs> but you shouldn't lie. Thank you for the follow, what? Warrior Queen. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm not lying. Voice acting, 10 out of 10. Uh, uh, sure. I'll, I'll just, I'll, we'll, we'll just take the compliment and move yeah, on. <laughs> lie down in the job, that is. <laughs> well, good night. Okay, see ya. Do you think he could tell? Yeah. I totally could! I fucking hate him. <laughs> <sighs> Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, let's hurry. Angie's in her lab, right? Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna walk there because I don't know if there's another student. Well, fuck it. Never mind. <laughs> If only we had a Tamagotchi. If only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks like no one's so around, good. so it would have been a waste of time anyway. I understand you're having trouble stopping people. Do you need someone well-versed in ropes? Oh god. <laughs> well, this hallway isn't... fucked. Alright. Alright. It's right here. 
just when I reached my hand towards the door. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure the door is locked. Locked? Ah, oh, that's right. Angie did say that she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway, just to test it. Earthquake test. So it, it is locked. Luigi. You can test the door a bit less noisily. <laughs> no. Because now she probably knows someone's there. No, I need to get in there. Shakes it harder. <laughs> Kicks the door. <laughs> Keeps pounding on it with his hands like, open up. Okay, it's locked. Into the yeah. hallway and just slams into it. Yeah, we're gonna get like all of a sudden Suichi just pulls out his back pocket one of those like door knockers <laughs> that the police have. Yeah. <laughs> Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Oh. <laughs> okay. Angie, open this door now. Oh, wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being little old mess and patient. Oh. Then how should I do it? Uh, Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave a few nervous knocks. Please. Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh, oh Tenko? Yes. Yes, it is me. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Get her, guys. Kick her ass! Yeah, ha! Huh? Can Bless I help you? Up. Huh? Huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um... oh. oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So Please, come in. No. Uh, no. It's not that. Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well, well I suppose. Hint, hint, Shuichi. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But... And then all of a sudden, Mackie tied her hair around her neck and started start killing her. We weren't prepared for yeah, what I've we were about to see. I've never seen someone kill someone with their pigtails before, but she <laughs> found a way. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so, ultimate artist. Uh, yeah. yeah. She made the dead people. Kaede and Rantaro, Kurumi, Ryoma. I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. yep. They're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course. Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh... Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an <clears throat> effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on. So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably would have done better. But once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. And before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? Ew. You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? I can respect that. Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah. Just like the real thing. But... Yeah, I thought these almost were real too. <laughs> It looks exactly like Kayede. The face and body. It looks like the real thing. But actually. It looks exactly like Harumi. Uh huh. Okay, this this seems to be the uh the same ish. Oh hi Shimichi. How are you? <laughs> oh hey Rantaro. Wait a second! <laughs> Hey, Suiji, how are you doing, cuz? <laughs> the more I look at it, the more it looks like Rantaro. But actually... Alright, what do you have to say about it? Well... You try persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? Yeah, no. That's right. Okay. 
I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. But I know Maki isn't very good at persuading people. So it's up to me. At least you don't have a charisma penalty, Shuichi. <laughs> the fact that and she can do things like this without a care is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop Angie. Cause she's fucking crazy. Hey, Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember the ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, uh... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. But the dead can't really come back to life. So the people who died must still be alive. No, no Angie. That's not possible. The bodies were yeah. not fakes. I'm positive. Especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect. But the real body still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live. Struggling. Fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. Well, uh, maybe not so much struggling in Ryoma's case. No matter Ooh, what technology yeah. you have, you can't fake a soul. What would Kibo That's think about true. this? Ryoma, Kurumi, he has a soul. Rentaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery. Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But... Hmm? <laughs> but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. So, if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. Wait, but did my curse here would only be one? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. That must be right, because the Tua is never wrong. Um... I'm sorry. It's okay. Bitch. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna stop this, are you? Of course, of course. Of course not. This is a Tua's will! This is your will, not a Tua's. Yeah, that's right. No? Nope. Nuh-uh! It's a Tua's. Quit huffing your lead-based paint and face reality. A Tua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Why don't you try to see what happens? Or else... Mm. We'll get punished, you know? Doubt it. Uh... You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi. But it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Hmm? Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're gonna slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey. Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yeah, okay. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. Oh, fuck. Can't take me. <laughs> it's already night time, so please be careful as you head back into your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Yeah. yeah. But, uh... Eh? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I forgive you, because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. I hope you'll recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this a pl like, eh, eh, paradise. Ellipses. <laughs> no. Eh, what's going on? 
Our Shuichi and Maki here. They're not in the student council, and it's night time. Hiniho! Oh, it's nothing. Seiko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah, she betrayed us. It's like, it, that sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Angie, you really are loved by a Tua. And you are loved by a Tua in return, Himiko. Stop it, you're making me blush. Why do people like Angie again? I don't know. I, I think all of us kind of hate Angie, right? Yes. I hate Angie with a fucking passion. Yeah, I hate really <laughs> why people like her. Yeah, enough already. I fucking hate this bitch. <laughs> God damn it, she's actually making me dislike Tinka with slightly less. <laughs> Ow. This really is the worst case. Darkest sketch! Darkest sketch! Oh no. Tenka walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah? Himiko! Please snap out of it! Aren't you a mage? That hurts. Let me go. Himiko! Why can't you see that you're- that you've been brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then... You're not a real mage at all! Was that... Uh, what? Feel angry? If you are, then show it! Get mad! Get upset! Yell at me! Just fight back already! Do something! Oh. Tenko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bayonara. Sound good? Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Himigo didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. I don't feel bad for Himiko, that she deserves that. Um... Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do! <laughs> I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend. You guys were best friends? You think so? The benefits. <clears throat> well, if you bound up to the nearest whole number, we are basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well, well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Sure. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Tenko, go back to your room. <laughs> Yes, you should please. let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. Don't worry, I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. <sighs> this is the one time I would tell Tinko she doesn't need to feel guilty about doing something she was actually trying to help for once. Right? <laughs> Waving happily, yeah. Tenko returned to her room. She bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Ah, uh, you were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were into that shit. Uh, there's that habit again. You both have a bad habit. Do you want to yeah. die? Yeah. Ask mommy. <laughs> Please. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she was able to act more like herself around me. Well, I guess those, uh, two free time events really helped out in the end. What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading the Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require... less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Mm. Oh, I like that pun on religion there, orthodox. Very clever. We might have to use yeah, Catholic indeed. methods. Hmm, less orthodox yeah. methods. Got it. I'll think about it. I don't you get like a golf clap for that one. Yeah. 
Maki the, hurried uh, back to her room. Hmm. So Maki's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place. But I don't know a lot about anyone either. Except maybe Kokichi. That could be a good thing. Or it could be a bad thing. I believe we called that thing both good and bad. I o. <laughs> E.T.? Yeah, just straight up E.T. In a past <laughs> life, I was a fish. <laughs> I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor. And because of how I would flop around on my desk. And because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. But bullying's awesome. Wait, what? I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. So they're bullying a fish that was out of water? Man, Makuba's not doing too good. Can I just say how weird it is to prepare Such to do Makuba theater and then not have to? <laughs> Such a deeply moving speech. I'm I'm truly touched. Yeah. He told me a whole video essay's worth of a, a man's fantasy in just a few Ooh. ellipses. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he is Yo, saying touched. something. <laughs> Yo, touched by an angel that was touched by Akuma. <laughs> <laughs> The intercom. This silly in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Who could it be now? Okay. What's in that face? You look like you just woke up. I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You look like you just saw Coomer. You wake up to that? Yeah. If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Well, I suppose that's true. Hey. It's fine. Let's go stop the ritual, sunshine. G Kaito. Okay. I heard from Monkey Roll. It seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. Monkey Roll. Monkey Roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Ah. You brought Kaito that's a here, Monkey. Nickname. Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails, and Henko is... unreliable. Could better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach. But, Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to be worrying about me, so... We gotta put this ridiculous wizard to the dead crap. And then we can finally drop that topic, or else I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last? Kaito, are you... Um... Scared? Huh? No. I just remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because... Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since... We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid, Sunshine, there's no way. Uh... Ah, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? Uh, it's not that I'm scared, that's just how my body is. I finally when it comes to cramp areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? Since I was a kid, whenever I heard them, I just thought to feel sick. I was looking more and more how do you feel about? How do you feel about Space Ghost? Uh... 
I heard there's one known like their coast to coast, but other than that, I don't know. <laughs> Is this a reference to something? Does this show <laughs> called Space Ghost Ghost Ghost? Yeah, have you never seen Space Ghost? I may have heard about it, but I don't think I've seen it. I we had to watch that at some point, if for no other reason because I hadn't seen it since I was like literally like two. Oh, okay. Damn it. Yeah. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. So that's what happened. Okay. So, what's our the mountains and so we can put an end all the spooky stuff? If things get any scary, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Moonlight? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up, let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, Sunshine. Come on, Rocky Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Rocky Roll. I'm not so sure about that. Um, it might catch on. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of catchy. Anyway. Yeah, let's, let's go to Angie's good. lab. Lucia's not a dinosaur like that, like us. I'm not surprised he's unfamiliar with space. Co okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, Lucky. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I am younger than all of you. I don't know well, by how much, on, but I know be more of a dinosaur. I'm old enough to remember syndicated, not the original runs, but the syndicated version of the Space Ghost show before it became a parody. How did he know that was a dinosaur? <laughs> how you doing, the Lucky? Welcome. I can't believe someone your age would hide in bed because they're afraid of ghosts. Yeah, you called me a fucking zoomer. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, is he even wrong? You're Not pretty good at Mario. Really? Part. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's got a lot of zooming in it. I play a lot of Sonic Damn games it. too. Yeah, that's true. Wait, I also like Sonic games though. Oh, but I guess I'm a boomer. <laughs> I guess I'm a supersonic boomer. <laughs> Everybody's a supersonic boomer. Well, you know, this is uh, just how my body is. You can't just do anything about it, sunshine. So you can stand to be around assassins, but ghosts are where you draw the line? I've been told that I'm scarier than any ghost. 1991, huh? What? Damn. <laughs> I'm not skinny at all. <laughs> I was gonna say, have you seen the spines where I come from? Those things are fucking giant. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? You're just a weak coward. And you just started your training. <laughs> Idiot's at it again. You, of all people, don't get to call me weak. Shut up! Hold on, let's go and stomp Banji. Let's hurry up and stomp Banji so we can put that big stuff sunshine. <laughs> if things getting a Sarah, I'll seriously die from the whole thing. Okay. Come on, you two, let's like go yeah, take care of Blue Ray Pop Tart's shit. problem here. Oh, fine then. <laughs> Screw you, Rocky. Anybody else here? <laughs> no. Okay, that's the same. Yeah. Maki? If she's not in her room, then she's probably in her lab preparing for the ritual. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, hello, Shuichi. Did you remember I'm in this game, too? Uh, not until a second ago, but good morning, Kyo. Yes. Ah, good morning. Oh, well, it isn't Kaito. 
Are you feeling better already? Yeah, somehow. Sorry, though, we don't have much time to talk about it. Well, don't push yourself. Things feel amiss without your boisterous voice. Yeah, sure. Why well, not? For making you worry, creepily. <laughs> yes, and all because you were scared. Mm -hmm. Did you say something? Shut up! It's nothing. Right, Maki Roll? <laughs> Quit calling me Maki Roll. No, that's not gonna go away. Wasn't I supposed to do something with him and I forgot? I think really? I did. Yeah, he he's wanted organize to his lab. Organize his lab, yeah. Yeah, and I just completely forgot about it. Oh well. <laughs> what that? I ain't doing that shit. Good morning, Tenko. Good morning, Maki! Good morning. Hey! Are you ignoring me so you see some chilling? Huh? What do you mean? It's proper manners to greet girls before degenerate males. I see nothing's changed oh. with you since last night. Nope, actually I've regressed a little bit. More importantly, have you guys seen Himiko? No. I haven't seen her. She's not in the dorms? I guess not. I didn't get an answer after I knocked on her door, so she must have gone out. Anyway, I'll go look for her. If you see her, please let me know. I never thought I'd miss my hero. <laughs> no, don't say that. Because the best part of the second game was that Mahiru was barely in it. She must want to apologize for last night. It's very like Tenko to take action. I can't disagree with that statement. I feel like the the trilogy has like an unholy trinity of obnoxious female characters. And I got to play all of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you had Aoi, right? No, wait, I didn't. I did. I didn't get Aoi. I think Death okay. played Aoi. Because that's that's what I'm referring to when it comes to the first game. <laughs> Aoi really isn't in the same league as the other two. No, no but she's not like she bad. had that one moment with Sakura, and she just went downhill from there. Indeed. Oh, that that one moment where she tried to get everybody killed. Yeah. Fuck her. I guess I'm supposed to go to her lab. Oh, Himiko's there. Hey, Himiko. Ego. Welcome, dude. How are you? Yo. Hey. Hola, mi amigo. Nah, you guys again. Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. Yeah, I want to do something like that. Sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. Yeah. So what you guys want? Don't tell you came to stop Angie again. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. Uh, this is actually wrong. It's because I'm not scared or anything, okay? Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open this door for anyone but members of the student council, okay. right? So, tell Angie to open it for us. Nah, yeah, that's not possible. Not possible? Oh, <laughs> uh, to how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. I think I know what this means. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? She should be inside, but this door in the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko! Himiko! We need to get inside right now! Nah, why? But you know, if we can be born to check, it's locked, so we can't do. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. 
You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Where did you come from? A hey, little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's trick. You know, like the one last night. Ah, the lock picking. You're the master of unlocking, Kokichi. I was gonna say the insect me and greet, but that works too. Lock picking. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? You want me to pick open this door, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Kokichi bent to oh, okay. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the the, the doorknob. You should be used to me bending over, right, Shuichi? Like, okay, listen, let's not bring that up now. All right, all right. Ooh, it's a cylinder lock. Three, three, now, this type of lock is perfect. Um. Yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Don't worry about that, Kokichi. Hurry up and open the door. You know what? Yeah, why should I care if she's dead? My bad. Yeah, that's the reason I hadn't used Thaumaturgy in Mage Hand. Eh, yeah, sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and then stuck them in the keyhole of the lock. See? There. Open says me. That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know? Well... Lockpicking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me. Ah! That cuts real deep, Maki! Right. Let's get inside. I'm totally worried about Angie. Got it. Yeah, you're right, Sunshine. Gone without permission. I would car you for when Angie gets mad, you know? I would put a sock in it, Timmy Garp. You remembered my little trick. Well, you are the ultimate detective, after all. I wonder what it's like inside. I'm so excited! Hey! Why are you drawing your feet? Let's go in already. I kinda don't care. Well, neither do I, but we still need to fucking check some shit. Listen, if no one sees a body, then there won't be a trial, right? Well, we uh, just never see it, and we just, just never have to find like the killer. It's like cat. <laughs> right? As long as the door is open, he's both alive and dead. You know, you make a good point. Kokichi, could you relock the door? We're just going to walk away and pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> Anyway, let's check inside. If nothing's wrong, then that's fine. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob, pushed open the door, and saw... Oh god, they're going Resident Evil with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Not good. What the fuck? <laughs> Failed oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. Noggin, noggin. Oh. Not again. Damn. Five murders, huh? That's against the rules. <laughs> Who's gonna make the body discovery announcement? Monokuma's not there. <clears throat> Alright, now for my best dad impression. A body has been discovered! Everyone, please assemble at the Ultimate Art Lab. Yeah, she puked again. It's green this time. She's been eating out at this restaurant, you s- I uh, mind. <laughs> well, it's green poop said to be an odd of bad luck and disaster, or that she's had Taco Bell. What on earth is about to happen? Besides, y'all know what I had last night. I had fucking Taco John's last night. Chipotle. No, otherwise it'd be bloody. <laughs> yeah, it'd be going at the other end, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Let us pray for Angie. Oh, for the love of fuck. 
<laughs> Pray for no one Mojo. was surprised. And my honest reaction? Well. Rip Bozo. <laughs> yep, it's time for me to post that, Gavaga. Time for me to post bull, Gavaga. <laughs> How expressive. <laughs> I've I felt that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I mean, we kind of knew it was going to happen. <laughs> what do you mean, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. There's so much in that one thing. Listen, if, if if you got a lot of that, you're gonna get a lot of the stairs in Twilight. Oh shit! I gotta change the windows back. Yes, please. I'm I'm so I'm so yeah. good at doing the streamer yeah. thing. Did it not change back for you guys? No. Not yet. Yeah, it's not still not on. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> There's a possibility you might need to close the stream. Or disconnect and reconnect. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work, I guess. All for a stupid I gag I planned out in my head. <laughs> okay, are we good? Oh. Did you? <clears throat> so that may, uh, to, uh, may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. Atua, please take care of Angie. It can't be. Hey, why did it end up like this? Did Angie have a tour with her? You don't know. Probably not. Uh, clearly she didn't. Th that not true. Angie say it's who always always by her side. We don't have time to be talking about this. It's still talking about it too, huh? Right? Yeah, you gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. <laughs> Wait, this is part of the killing game? Oh yeah, I forgot I had our characters. <laughs> <laughs> What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. Yeah, that's right. No way! But why would someone do such awful thing? <laughs> Look, Gonto, we don't have enough time to list all the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Is that... Yeah. Yeah, goes on the point. Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... One of them... Uh oh, oh Vaughn's soaked entrance! How novel! And the puke is green again! And two! That's a pretty ominous sign! Uh, why did another murder happen? Just the other power trips. <laughs> Just Valdam's background. Monotaros. What's the deal, Monotam? I thought you were gonna make every get a one. <laughs> oh, she Don't finally worry. stopped. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Monadam 2023. Dang, but how? So, let's get started. Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Ah, uh, look, the Markuma file. I'd be the one to pass it out. 
Did you want to do it too, Mom Fanny? By the way, I'm thinking, you guys should knock off this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Yeah, it's more green puke. That's really unlucky. I uh, just just remember, dying is cringe. So then, <laughs> as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do. Yes. Yep. I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Should we just gonna go around speculate for a while with one other person? The rest of us are going to sit around with our thumbs up our asses, and eventually, we all do the trial! Sounds like a plan. Story of my life. Yeah, and the person who will be doing that is hopefully with me, so... Come on, so John, let's roll. That's basically akin to me doing it by myself, but whatever. Alright, we'll help you this time, so John, I promise. <laughs> Go to no way, go to a kid. Nope. Oh, get used to this. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. <laughs> no one should get used to this. <laughs> and that's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately, let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. That's true. Emit Still, depression. It's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigy of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi. All right, sunshine, I'm counting on you to use my psych. What's in this nightmare again? Okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? We seriously don't have time to be talking about this, Sunshine. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. The culprit? Is it really someone among us? Among us. That killed Angie? I get how you feel, Samugi. But do you have to repeat that tired old line every, every time? Yeah, I feel like saying among us would get old really, really fast. <laughs> doesn't it's kind of fun oh no that's not it i mean could this have been the work of the transfer student oh angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead right and she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual Maybe the ritual succeeded, and the resurrection person killed her. Not the resurrection person. <laughs> what? Shut up already. What? It's a fault. It's only scary stories. I'm not really like that. Something must have stuff like that. Uh, um, Hi, Toe, are you all right? Damn. Uh, sorry, Suichi, I just need some fresh air. <laughs> I'll leave this to you and Mocky Roll. Do a good job, you guys. I'm not Mocky Roll. Hi, <laughs> Toe left. Still a, still a bit wobbly. So, you're going to prove to be more useful to me, right? <sighs> then him shouldn't be too hard a task. You say that. Do a, do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> uh, maybe and that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. You've clearly settled right into your sidekick role. I'm just used to it. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. So few people left. I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right. right? Yeah, let's take a look. The victim is Angie Yognaga, the ultimate artist. The body was found in the ultimate artist's lab. The time of death is approximately two in the morning. Two in the morning? What the fuck? Like 2 a.m.? 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what it says. Yeah. Time of death is approximately two a.m. in Wasn't the desert. Wasn't it right daylight? Time. It was daylight when we found the body. So yeah. clearly she died after you guys uh, left the diamond. Okay. 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 Makes sense. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Hmm. It may be your favorite. Really, a case three is your favorite. Okay. The Monokuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. Oh, heck yeah. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. You probably can't rely on witness testimonies. So the murder happened at nighttime, after all. If everyone had followed the student council rules like Angie and Atua said... What good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council. That's... Right. We should go and figure that out! Let's start investigating this all this mystery together! It's impossible. Yeah, I can't. Himiko? I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But if we don't make it through the class trial, then everybody will die. I don't care anymore. I'm starting not to like you either. Surviving and everything else, it's too much of a pain. I'm kind of with her on this then one. Then why don't we just use your anti-magic to revive Stop. Angie? This is no time for your mean-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly improbable. Even then, would you want her back? We can't say that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me. No. Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible. But I know a way we can speak with Angie, you see. We can summon her spirit with a seance called the Caged Child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? <laughs> seance? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. Shut up, you're cutting me! Yeah, this is new time for jokes! Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? <laughs> if we speak with Angie. We can ask her who the culprit is, and bring this case to a swift close. Well, that would be pretty useful. First, a resurrection ritual, and now a seance. Are you messing with us? That's my job, you know. I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written out in literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. I have a wiki board. Well, many times. Posey weep time? I, I guess, yeah. How's it going, Bill? Hello, we. E board. I have a wiki board. On top of that. Charlie Day? Here, a <laughs> rare chance to perform a legendary seance with the caged child. Chris Pratt? It would be <laughs> foolish to not take advantage of this, yes. No, no matter how you put it. Sorry, the way that I read that <laughs> made me laugh. No matter how you put it, now is not the time for something. Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, what? yes? My earlier theory? Therefore. The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. Is the idea of a genuine seance actually that crazy? To this cast of characters, I guess. Yeah. In comparison to the whole series, absolutely not. It oh, is yeah. not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So, to prove such a thing impossible, I think at best we consult Angie herself. That logic is peculiar, to say the least. Uh, and if we say if we do the seance and it doesn't work, then I guess that proves our theory that it's bullcrap. Holding the seance to find out about the ritual? So we're gonna fight the occult with the occult? Okay. Well, we can worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway, even though we haven't 
done it yet. I'll help too. Ooh. Huh? You too, Himiko? I... If I untalk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. Almost seems easygoing, Kokichi. He he doesn't take anything seriously. That's his shtick. Only magic can defeat magic. Listen, only stands can defeat other stands. That's the rule. Unless the, the when they don't. <laughs> yeah, unless you bring yeah. in a meteor or something. <laughs> the answer, whatever it takes, I'll do it. Uh, I'll help out as well. I can't leave Hiko alone. Do whatever you want. Okay, I will. So then. Yeah, Hiko kind of depressy. So, now we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the caged child requires five people. We're still one short. Oh. Fine. Then Keyboy can come too. Right. I guess we can't be picky. Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where should we do it? Does Kivo even count as a person? <laughs> I find that highly offensive. How about your lab? Mom, pick me up. My friend died and everyone is doing seances. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no. In order for the caged child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. That just sounds like another murder is gonna happen. See my face? Correcchio, do you see my face? Was I surprised when Angie died? No. Do you think I'm gonna be surprised when someone else dies? Take a guess. Yes? Shut the fuck up, Kibo. <laughs> my lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? He has a mask on. He, under he understands social distancing. He'd keep the party safe. And how about the empty rooms? That's empty rooms. The ones on the fourth floor. Hmm. Didn't I see the ghost of Monikid there? <laughs> yeah, you did. There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up. I agree with Himiko. I'm not surprised you're always riding her broomstick. <laughs> However, there are three empty rooms. Which one should we use? Uh, the mill room. The mill room's always best for stuff like this. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you four help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from my uh, lab. Um, are you really gonna do this? Do you understand? This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? If what I says comes true, I'm blaming it on you. Unless you're the victim, in which case, I'll blame it on Tenko. Duly noted. We need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. After all, Shuichi, you didn't want to run around the map for hours trying to find where we are. It's best if I keep these schlubs all locked up with me. There's a chance they'll have to double that. Oh, dang. <laughs> I like Sussy Baka's long hair. Uh, Karekio? He does have... Like, he's got the long hair, he's got the bandages on his arms that probably go into, like, his upper torso. Yeah, he's a very Sussy Baka. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. Are you serious about this stupid seance? You've known these people for how long now? But... Point taken. Perhaps it's just part of the investigation in their eyes. I guess we should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. So should I do this, or save so, it? So, we're reduced to a detective, an entomologist, an assassin, cosplay artist and a horny inventor. What a team. 
Zoomer spot and stick him, boy. <laughs> this busty brain beauty is this all figured out. Huh? What do you mean? You know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that. Well, that's kind of the point of the trial. Okay, never mind. Hey. Shuichi, do we really have the time to be listening to her? No. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait, god damn it. You just gonna ignore my genius idea? Yeah, yes, right. yes, we are. What? Uh, just listen to me, okay? Come on, don't zoom off, you zoomer. Beg, bitch. Okay. Listen. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. We won't. You know. No, y'all are dar than fleas, but Ian, you got, Ian, you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well then. If I figure it out with just one glance, these are diversions. Pretty. Diversions. Listen up. Yup, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? What? How how should I know? Is that Sherlock Homo's job? I'll take that as a compliment. I knew it. That is probably the most aware thing you've said all day. But you're a waste of our time. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? Huh? The hell's her problem? Is she on the rag or something? Mm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They don't have outlines. Yeah, you say the dolls and the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed they really are. Hey! You tried to look up the wax figure skirt. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that! Hey. Yeah. What? I was about to see if the doll's wearing panties. Um. Wait. Do you have a doll fetish? You look sad that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? <laughs> if you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to me was a waste of time. If you Neo, love go to doll... the theater because you're doing nothing but projecting. <laughs> if you love dolls so much, why don't you just go and marry a Barbie already? Maka. There's that Barbie movie. <laughs> that kind of looked funny. Isn't it coming out the same day as Oppenheimer? I have no idea. I think so. Yeah. I think I saw that in our Discord. What's <laughs> gonna sweep? Barbie? I think Barbie, movie. Barbie <laughs> movies got this. They got the brand recognition. Yeah, bro. They got all the little kids are gonna go see it. Everybody who used to own a Barbie is gonna go see it. Ironic internet crowd's gonna go see it. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tango be the culprit? I kind of wish she was the victim. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Emiko say that Tango was trying to betray the student counts. So... No. So you suspect Tenko? Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. I like Barbie, but I don't like crowds. Fair. Oh, yeah. y y I think you can see like how toxic some crowds can be. Like Minions 2 Rise of Gru, everyone came in with suits and bananas. Can you fucking say Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. And she did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. I have no faith in humanity anymore. <laughs> Shut away, away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said, <laughs> Man, she said that? Wow. There's a lot of essence here, and it's really hard for me to do that. <laughs> she shit shit. I can't do this. It's okay, it's okay, man. Take your time. <clears throat> she said, <laughs> She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. It, it's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but 
She's kind of a bitch. Since only steer the council members would have been let in here. So Angie only let in the student council members. That would mean Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. Of that group, Tenko was certainly the most suspicious. See, I know we had probably... to get... Sorry, Pam, go ahead. Probably not the killer. I just Why? had to say, like, I know we had to get the truth bullet, but we already knew that. Yeah. A murder? At night time? It's strange. Unpossible, even. <laughs> Why do you think that? Right. Because soon council made rule that we know can be outside during. Everyone should have been asleep. No way, murder could have happened at night time. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But well, yeah, two of us rule. As you say, he pursue us if we not follow the rules. But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They can do what they wanted. Angie is also working here at night. <laughs> she was? But... No, no way. Student council will never break own rules. Right. They should have been asleep in own rooms. Set good example to others. <sighs> Unless Atua says otherwise. Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleeps in her room. Get brought here. Go to idiot. If so, if if so, Gonta just saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta could no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. I just want to confirm something. That you're being useful? Yeah, you're ten times more useful than anybody else. <laughs> I heard that, Sunshine. <laughs> when we got to this lab, you're sure that the front door was locked? Yeah, I'm positive. We just saw this. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Which we also just saw. I like how they're showing us this, even though there's, like, no animation for it. Yes, but you might have the memory of a goldfish. I d this happened, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> goldfish memory! So, he picked this cylinder lock open. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock That's besides true. him? It would have been impossible from the outside. The Monocubs took the key. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, this was yeah. last session, so like... It technically happened last week, but we still skip flashbacks because they're annoying. Yeah. So, Kokichi is the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? I mean, it's not like other people just haven't told us they have lockpicking skills. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from outside. Hey, but Maki, someone you... inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? So... The front door is locked from inside the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Like they you know, could open the door, turn the lock, and then get out and close exactly. it. Exactly. It's kind of that simple. That's pretty, that's pretty hard for these kids to think of. And the play Wait, what? Games. Opening the door, going out, and then locking it? Like, you, you still, like, you open the door, then you lock it from the inside, then you go out and close the door. I don't know if they lock like that. Hey, check what kind of lock it is. Yeah, these are the like, place. there are locks that are just, like, you know, the bar where it's, like, if you lock it and then try to close it, it won't, like, shut, right? Yeah, okay. the hinge won't shut it. Yeah. I think the back door is like that. It has a bolt on it, but the front door looks like a simple knob. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. I do have a door that if I set it to lock while I'm in my room, I can close it and accidentally lock myself like outside of my room. Yeah. 
I will say, uh, this is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like, okay, yeah, you'll lock the thing, and then you won't be able to shut the door. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. This door is the lab's back door. Is this... This door has a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. Because no one has used this door since we came in here. I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. What's this? Look, there's something golden shiny on the tab of the sliding lock. Golden shiny? Could it be... Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Go ahead. Do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Just as I suspected. This lock will slide without much effort. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. Still, it's strange that the front door and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this... In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Oh, I'm getting flashbacks from the first game. Locked, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes. The cylinder lock's key was taken by the Mana Cubs. So both doors could only be locked from the inside. But only if you rule out Kokichi's lockpicking, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked room mystery. I wouldn't put it past him. It's possible he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember correctly. That's true. That's right. Also, he happened well, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious. But that solution seems a little too convenient. Plus, I can't. Alright, time to actually Oh, we can't even look at the wax dolls, okay. Good. Angie's body. She's laying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was planning to. Got a minute? Now let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Right. I mean, what, we spent at least 10 minutes on the Correcchio conversation? Do what? Not to mention there might be another murder too, which I'm not doubting. So we got our work cut out for us. Maki didn't hesitate. Nope. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. Good thing we've been exercising for the last week. True. <laughs> She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Oh, now we can look at the dolls. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely, would have done at least a few d6 more damage. What do you make of this wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What's going on with these two wounds? Huh? Huh. What's wrong, Maki? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's the duct tape doing uh, here? Um, I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. So what? It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. well, that's true. 
Well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. You know, I kind of like this dynamic, actually. This is surprisingly fun. Now, don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Slaps his forehead because that's a dumb fucking thing to say. <laughs> Do you want to die? Yeah, that's right. Please. <laughs> Sorry, joking. I couldn't resist. You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. I thought you were into questionable humor. I mean, you and Ichi. Four effigies hung upside down makes the scene particularly eerie. Ropes are dangled from the exposed beams on the ceiling. Ropes, huh? If I remember correctly, mm, that's hot. If I remember correctly, Angie made all these. Uh, yeah, she made these. Hey. What of it? Is this rope from the warehouse? I believe so. And that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten those ropes. Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for murder. Uh, um... Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies too. And they're 2D. God, imagine that. 2D people. Ugh, creepy, isn't it? The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. <laughs> the problem is they're not 2D, they're 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're gonna do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? If there are questions, who could do this? Nah, the well, we know someone they're who's well versed in they're ropes. 2D. Someone really didn't like Kaede very much. <laughs> A katana stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. Who did this? And why? Got a minute? Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh, uh, wait! This is a crime scene! You can't- You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. And I guess that's true. We don't really check for fingerprints here now, do we? Because we have the tools too. Yeah, true, but we don't. We have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Okay. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on the display of the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Mm. Oh no. Hmm. Is that so? Okay. We can probably assume this is the murder weapon, but judging from the blood stains on the tip. Mm. You will never escape the gold leaf katana. I think that's a reference to something I don't know. The first it's game. The first oh, okay. Game. God, that was so long ago. <laughs> it's the same thing that Sayaka used to fight Leon with. Okay. Early case one. <laughs> that again, <laughs> long time ago. And the edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But, but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by? They may have done it in a hurry. Well... Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. A long weapon? My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this land. Uh, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But how did they know all this? Anyway, 
The gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. Okay. And probably that lock over there, too. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. You got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I have to wash them later. Maki scolded me, then stood in front of Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm going to put the katana back where you found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, thank you. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. I averted my gaze, and, Ma and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? Then, what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Come on, guys, these are big boy brains. We should mm. investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue okay. there. Mm. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Yeah, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Maybe we should put gloves on before going to Kyo's lab. Should we just finish the investigation? Do you guys think we can do that? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you still need to investigate things here? Oh, front door. <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. fucking joking? Who? What else? Could it be people? The Necronomicon. Oh, the Necronomicon. Yeah. This one. Okay, Grimoire Noir. This one is long. Damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a longer one. A longer investigation. I, think I know why it's long too. Your why? suspicion about something going on in the seance. I'm betting you're on the money. Yeah. <laughs> this book. Oh, uh, was that yeah. me? There's no money here. <laughs> Just monocoins. Money was the motive in the first game. This was the motive. The Necronomicon. Hey. That's, the thing they... oh, That's the thing they don't talk about. Like, if you look at the money, it's probably secretly mono box. Yeah, exactly. Think of all the gotcha you could play. And she tried to perform a ritual Bison written in this box. Right? Sorry. Okay. On, you saw all the stuff you could get with uh, the mono coins. You could potentially live off your gotcha earnings. Damn. <laughs> Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. I like how this is a fucking handbook on how to do this and not like yeah, some yeah, holy I, scripture. I love yeah. that the entire thing is just like, okay, let's just make this really easy for them. These kids are really like, stupid. Like Monica Revive your like dead friends for dummies. <laughs> For, like, no, listen, you, you don't have to make it look like this. You don't have to make it look like a person, just as long as I know. Also, <laughs> don't suffocate yourself, idiot. This is where the Mandela effect is. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. This is stupid. And you really believe this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place? I don't think we can rule anything out. Oh, come on, yeah, no we, surely harm. they're not going to pull the VR world thing again. Yeah, there's no harm in trying, I guess. What the fuck? Every case. Every case is like this. Uh, um, Kaede's doll? No. 
What the? Wait, oh. What about the bl blades for electric energy? Can you examine those? Oh, those aren't blades. Sorry. A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. Remember to talk to people a couple times each? Okay. This can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, um... Maki, what's wrong? It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating the crime scene. You know, I can say the same thing about you. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, no let's continue. <laughs> I think we finished investigating everything for now. Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. Who said we were done? We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. Uh, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultra. Oh, the the. <laughs> I almost said the ultimate. The ultimate anthropologist slot. God damn it. Okay. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. I know you're into men anyway. But I kind of like this dynamic. I don't want this to go away. Maybe I could be bi. You never know. It's not mm. as if I asked you, but it's fine by me, I guess. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Understatement of the century. They waited till case three to give you a reliable partner. Yes. Yeah. So should I stop, or do you think we can get the investigation done? I, I honestly, I think the investigation will probably last us another hour if you want to go for that. Yeah, I think this would probably, probably be a good, a good stop, stop point. Good you know, stopping as much point. As I want to go on because of how many people we have. This is probably about as good of a point as we're gonna get. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the love hotel. Okay. I think I'll save that for next time because I don't know how long this investigation is gonna last. Now we we might wrap it up quicker than. Anyways. Okay. So um. That was a murder. We all we all wanted there to. There was an investigation and it's still going. This is this is a case. This is the case of all time. I don't know. <laughs> we all wanted her dead. I mean yeah. There might be another murder. Who no, who knows? I feel like it's gonna happen because like hasn't every case three had a murder? A, t a second murder? I mean, Maybe this sure, this sure is a case three, all right. So who knows? Yeah. It has always tried to one up its, its predecessors. So let's see what it does. Right. Well, it's certainly the third murder. Yeah. This is certainly a case three of all time. It really is the case three of all time. Yeah. I'll be it though. This will probably be a hot thing, maybe amongst this group. I'm actually liking this case in real life. Second game. This this is better than the second game so far, yeah. Oh yeah. Not gonna this... lie, this case is pretty good. Oh, just you it's wait, probably... Kappa. Oh, yeah. great. It's, it's probably my favorite case three so far, but yeah. still a case. It's three. still got case three syndrome, but it's probably the best one. <laughs> So I've got a suspicion that when this most likely second murder happens, that's when the shit gets weird. Oh, it's gonna get super weird. Uh, it's already pretty weird, but yeah. If you, you, 
You thought last trial was wacky. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just have to see. At the very least, we should to, get this case right done in like two more sessions, right? Probably. Yeah. 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 Are you right to saw a freaking ghost? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. But who's ghost next will it be? time? Ghost of Angie, presumably. 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 Although we don't know if we're gonna saw a demon or something, I don't know. Yeah, that shit's dangerous. That's how you get possessed. It right. should be Angie. Do we, uh, we will use the Lu Luigi board? Yeah. 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 I could feel it with my fingers. It's moving me. What's that? It's... It says it's telling us Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> I was going to say it's uh, Seth Rogen. <laughs> D's. What are D's? D's nuts. N Got him. Damn. T S. <laughs> what are these nuts? <laughs> All right. Do we uh, do we have anything we want to say before we sign off? Next time on Degan Rampa, who are you gonna call? Ghostbuster. Buster. Not me. <laughs> Not Kaito. <laughs> Listen, you got bust a move. You got Ghostbusters. Bust a ghost. Let's go. Right on. Bust them! Bye.